Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday the 2nd of November. It's quite warm actually. Um, bit of a trouble getting here today. Lots of robots uh, to uh, annoy me <laughs> as I try to drive down into deepest Surrey. But I'm in Dunsfold. I've never been to Dunsfold before. Dunsfold is quite famous, of course, as the Dunsfold airfield nearby was the location for Top Gear for many, many years, the international hit Top Gear. Never seen it, not interested in cars really. Um, but yes, I know it's hugely popular among a lot of people. But today in Dunsfold, I brought us to St Mary's and All Saints uh, Church, one of England's thousands of best churches, it says here. So, um, very nice. We'll have a little look inside, and then, and then, something I want to see even more is the holy well that should be interesting let's go and have a look inside This is a really lovely church, really lovely. So I've never been to Dunsfold before. This is part of Surrey, I don't really know that well. Um, we're not far from Godalming and Guildford. Yeah, it's lovely. This church has got some of the oldest pews in the country and they do look very, very old. I'm not sure of the date, but um, they do look old, with a little restoration in, in intact as well. It looks like a, cru a cruciform church, the way it's laid out, but I'm not sure. This is this walls. Caution, uneven stairs. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> very peaceful, as all churches are, very peaceful. I didn't see that in history. There's actually um, uncovered some of a mu mural, mural painting that had been whitewashed over during the Reformation. Um, it's not my, hard to make out what the painting is. I still want to get into that church at Charlwood, which I've been to two or three times. It's always closed, and I want to see the, um, the uh, wall paintings in there. But um, it ain't to be. <laughs> as they say. It's a nice little private chapel here. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This church has 13th century origins, it says, but they reckon there's been a, a pagan site uh, here for many years. Lights keen coming on and off. Is it a sensor? Oh, thank you. Um, which is to do with the Holy Well down the uh, pathway, which we'll see in a minute. This is a nice mural. Look at that. The famous textile designer, William Morris, described this church as the most beautiful church in all of England. He ain't wrong. This is already one of uh, a favourite. <laughs> Looks original archway up there. That's a very old font. I wonder how old that is. 13th century maybe? 13th century? Hmm, that's old. Oh, this is what I was looking for, the, the rectors of this parish. Up here is a fantastic uh, board with all the rectors of this parish here in Dunsfold going back to 1294, 1294 and right up to 2020. So Alan D. Deloigne in 1294 and William in 1310 right down to Ian Maslin in 2020. Isn't that incredible? 
nice model of the church. Oh, I bought a pamphlet, but I haven't got a pound on me. I keep forgetting to bring money out. Who? No one has money nowadays, do they? Which is probably not a good thing, having hard cash. Okay, what a lovely church. So what we're going to do now is go out into the uh, churchyard, have a look around there, uh, and then uh, head down to the well. Just as I came out, look at this lovely door. Don't, not quite sure how old that is. Whoever thou art that enterest this church, leave it not without kneeling down and praying to God for thyself. I'm all right on that, thanks. But um, nice anyway. Yeah, and here's the oh, bit of rain. That's going to be a bit of rain. Look at this lovely yew tree. 1500 years old, I think it is. Right here. I do love it when a yew tree is hollowed out and you can get inside. It's fantastic, isn't it? I've seen quite a few, I said, I think one of the recent videos, I've seen so many yew trees this year. Oh, lovely. Door alert. Door alert. Actually, I don't think this is that old. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah. The rivets in there, they look quite old. That's quite cool. So here we go. Down this public footpath, one of the old signposts, I love them. It's just down here, the Holy Well. I'd rather call it an ancient spring, but uh, let's go and find it. So here it is, the Holy Well of St Mary, or an ancient spring, very ancient spring. We, we lit with them in the Surrey Hills, uh, around uh, and in deepest Surrey. But yeah, this ancient well was probably a pagan shrine. I mean, this beautiful oak um, canopy was erected in 1933. It's really nice. Um, most springs are just you know you find them in the ground you know where they are but you find them in the ground. there's no real sort of signage for them but this is really nicely put together but yeah this could have been a pagan shrine that could have influenced the building of the church many years later you know and even a settlement here there's always settlements near ancient springs and ancient waterways um but very powerful energy centers are springs very powerful energy centers if you want to go down that uh, route which i am you'll find that all the oldest churches are built near springs so they can use the water for purification rites and things like that, which I find really interesting. Not modern churches probably, but you know, ones going back sort of a thousand years. I absolutely love it, love it. It's a very peaceful tr uh, setting as well. So it's a bit windy today. Um, very peaceful setting in a field where there's probably cattle, but there's none today. You just go for this little uh, gate just up from the, from the church itself. And then you come back down here to the uh, to the river. Yeah, this comes out of the River Arran. Um, we are sort of right down. We're deepest Surrey, but we're also um, heading into sort of West Sussex and things like that. So yeah, just open that. Oh, so there we are, the well. Thank you very much for coming on this little journey down into Dunsfold, home of Top Gear. No, home of that Holy Well. Yeah, I'd like to know about all the Holy Wells um, or ancient springs in Surrey. I'll go and explore them all, it'd be really interesting. But thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I have. And uh, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff you do on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Take care.